you guys, by the title of this video, I don't have to explain what's going on today and I'm so excited to finally be able to install this part on the FRS Amazon build series and that is the exhaust. Look it, I'm not gonna lie, this exhaust doesn't sound bad. And right now that I take, well, right now that I jack the car up and we see what's under there, I'll be able to see what it is, but I think it's just a custom cap back. However, today we are gonna install the new NVIDIA cap back system and I'm so excited. I've, I've wanted one of these exhaust systems for the longest time. It just so happens that we're gonna end up throwing it on the FRS, but I wanted one of these for the 240 for so long and we're finally gonna get to do it. We're also installing the new uh, third brake light on the FRS, so no more crusty brake light like you see over there. That was all fogged up. This one's nice and clean, it's gonna look good. So I'm super excited. We gotta jack the car up and uh, get ready to do a lot of manual labor. It's what sucks when you don't have a shop and a lift, but YOLO, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be fun, let's get to it. Oh my God, guys, we just unboxed the NVIDIA exhaust. This thing is beautiful. I am so in love with how this looks. I cannot wait to throw it on the actual FRS. I've always loved the burnt tip look. I've never actually been able to run burnt tips on any of my cars. It's made me sad. But finally, we're gonna have some burnt tips on one of my cars. And this NVIDIA little logo down the middle looks so badass. So shiny, so beautiful, so sick. And I think, honestly, I'm not even capping. The reason why I've always wanted to run NVIDIA is because NVIDIA has this purple logo like lettering and purple is my favorite color and I shit you not guys that is probably the only reason I've ever wanted to really run this car this exhaust because I'm like yo purple I gotta support and the FRS is officially airborne guys I'm not gonna lie I low-key like this track stance so i don't i haven't struggled at all getting jacks and stuff under the car like i normally do well i can't even point at this because this is on bag so bags don't even count but this is definitely a lot easier than my 240 aesthetic but looking under here we finally get to see what the exhaust looks like and it's exactly what i thought it's basically a stock exhaust um all they did was chop up the mufflers add some nice little tips back here and that's basically it it doesn't look like it has a resonator or anything down there. It still has a cat. So yeah, basically just straight piped all the way back. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, I'm saying about the straight pipe. You! Oh God. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so this is actually pretty simple. The way I'm gonna do it is I, I normally end up putting some WD-40 in here and then I'll just slide uh, this little grommet out, the little exhaust hanger and then uh, down there is just two bolts so um, we just have to take the two bolts that are hanging on to the cats back there and then this whole exhaust should be able to come out so it's not a lot of work it's just tedious work and it's it's just hard when you have to crawl under the car but let's get to it <laughs> has been neutered and uh, yeah and now that we got the old exhaust we have it side by side next to the new Nvidia exhaust and you could immediately tell the difference this new exhaust looks a million times better than what this is this has basically your resonators but well it has a resonator down the middle and you have your cap back system down here so this should allow it not to be raspy but give it more of a deeper tone which is basically what we have with the z although we don't have we just have a straight pipe back there we still have the cats and a resonator so it gives it that nice deep rumble which with these uh frs boxer engines you guys know that they have a really nice deep rumble when you do the exhaust correctly so i'm hoping with this uh nvidia exhaust we will get exactly that deep rumble we're looking for and we officially took this old 
like freaking third brake light we're installing a new one but to get to the wiring you have to remove all of the carpet again it's like my fifth time removing this carpet i'm so sick of seeing this removed but just to let you guys know if you're gonna ever replace all these tail lights and everything do it all at once don't be like me this is literally my fifth time i'm so annoyed but it's pretty simple once you get that out basically just yank these wires out through here and it all comes out all right guys i have officially wired everything up <laughs> and a fourth brake light third brake light i'm not sure which one it is no that's i think the fourth brake light that fourth brake light is not working so this is the one thing i hate about chinese companies is the wiring is all just like backwards because china wiring is different than the usdm um chassis so I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm just gonna take the fat L. I tell you guys all the time I hate wiring, but I'm pretty proud of myself because I was able to figure out the wiring for the tail lights and the headlights. I just wasn't able to get that in depth because to be completely honest, the thing is, if you disconnect this, here's the biggest difference. There's only two pins on this chassis harness and the VLAN one has three pins. So that's the biggest difference. China um, chassis must have a third pin in there for the fog light. Well. The USDM ones don't, so. So basically nothing else on this actual harness works the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna just end up taking this to Canoe to be completely honest. I'm gonna have to take him the whole chassis, the whole car, and uh, he'll end up figuring this out um, for the most part. So, so I'm gonna just take the L on this. Tomorrow I'm gonna finish installing the NVIDIA exhaust because I got the wrong bolts today as well. I've just been taking L's. Today is probably just L day for me. I've been taking hella L's today, but it's, but it's all good. We're gonna run it back tomorrow. Get the exhaust actually installed. At least we'll be able to hear what the new exhaust sounds like. And then uh, we'll end up taking the car to Canoe. And I don't know if we'll finish it up on this vlog. But if we don't finish on this vlog, then we'll knock it on the next vlog and show you guys how the wiring actually goes for these VLAN fourth brake lights. So you guys can do it at home as well. We officially have the new exhaust on. And guys, this looks so good. Bro, look at that. I can look at this literally all day. This NVIDIA exhaust is so badass. It looks so good. It looks so sick. I cannot wait to hear right now. We're going to take the jack stands off and then uh, we're going to test fit this. Well, test hear it, I guess, how it sounds. I hope it, it definitely sounds deeper. That's what I'm praying for, but we'll find out right now. Guys, we're about to do a cold start with the new exhaust and let's hear what it sounds like. Bro, it's a million times quieter. I'm not even lying, it's so quiet now. Oh my God, it's so much quieter. It has such a deeper tone to it as well. Right, guys i'm not gonna lie i'm a little disappointed it definitely sounds way deeper and i do like the way this sounds over the other straight pipe exhaust that we have but this one is just a little too quiet for me it does sound nice and deep but i think what we're gonna end up having to do is chopping off the resonator down the middle and actually straight piping that and leaving the cats back here on i feel like that will make it sound a lot better but that's a little too resonated for me right now maybe if we added some headers it would sound a lot better but stock headers and cats with this exhaust i feel like it's just a little too quiet for me obviously this car is going to go to the track but it's going to be a daily right now um so i guess it is a good thing to have it sound like that for right now but i don't know i'm a little disappointed i wish it was a little bit more deep and and louder to be honest i just wanted a louder deeper tone than what we're getting right now out of it but the other thing too is uh a lot of time with these exhausts you do have to uh, break them in a little bit the, the the sound changes over time as you drive on the exhaust a little bit i know it sounds a little weird but i promise you guys it, it's like that so we'll drive the car around a little bit and hopefully that makes it a little bit better but i i don't know i'm a little tiny disappointed the exhaust looks great but i just wish it was a little bit deeper and a little bit louder
It fits. <laughs> You're welcome. Kinda, okay. It's definitely a little tight. All right, we're solid, boys. This should give you an idea as to what else we're doing in this vlog, and if it doesn't, well, let me just tell you, it rhymes with barbin, fiber. That should let you know. I'm super excited, also I ripped my pants, but I'm super excited <laughs> because tomorrow we get to announce a new sponsorship on the channel and we get to pick up a new part for the FRS. Guys, we're basically down to it. With the exhaust installed, the new part we're picking up tomorrow, we are literally down to just wrapping the car and the FRS Amazon series is done. First of all, I wanna say y'all are sleeping on Amazon. I remember when I first started the series, you guys all said Amazon was quote unquote gay. I remember when you guys would say the same thing about eBay when I would work on my cars. And now look at this, we have full suspension and not just crappy suspension, we got BC Racing, which I consider like not low uh, like tier, but it's like medium tier, like FD drivers are on BC. We got Ray wheels, we got exhaust, not, not just any exhaust, we got Nvidia, that's a thousand dollar exhaust. We got rotors, we got brake pads, we got k and air intake. We have new fenders, front bumper, headlights, fog lights, turns it was like, guys, we have literally killed it on the FRS Amazon challenge. And I'm super excited to actually see this car complete. It's, this is insane, guys. This is literally insane. Alrighty, guys, it's the part of the video that we are looking forward to every week. As I told you guys, I'm gonna be choosing one winner from people that comment in the videos. I'm gonna be putting the comments on a wheel picker and then be picking one winner to win some stance stuff. We have the comments from one video that I dropped this week and uh, we're just gonna basically run it. We're gonna see who wins some stance merch right now. And this week's winner is Jerry Choo Choo, bro, Jerry, you won, bro. I appreciate you guys for supporting and stay tuned because next week we're gonna be doing the same thing. Everyone that comments on the videos, we're gonna be choosing one random video each week. If you commented on there, I'm gonna put everyone's uh, names on a random name selector and choose one person that sends some stand stuff too. So congratulations, Jerry, and let's go back to the video. Yup, you guys are seeing that correctly. We are pulling up to Si- Oh, I was about to say. We are pulling up to Saibon right now because we are picking up some new products for the FRS. Saibon is the newest sponsor for our channel on our cars. I'm super, super excited to be working with them and picking up some new parts because uh, all of my cars need them. Not just the FRS, we got a lot of stuff coming for a lot of different cars and I'm super excited to show you guys what we got going on. All right guys, now if you've never gotten anything from Saibon, this is a really cool thing about them. When you come and pick up your stuff, they always allow you to inspect everything. So whenever you come, come to Will Call, pick up your stuff, open it and check your entire product, okay? I, a lot of people don't check their things and once you take it, it's yours. So inspect everything, make sure there's no damage on the on the carbon. If there is, just let them know. They will exchange everything for you and we'll be good to go. But let's unwrap this and actually see the hood we picked up for the FRS. Oh my God, look at this guys. This hood is absolutely beautiful. And after, after inspecting everything, always check the corners. This is normally, if there's gonna be damages in the corners, this hood is literally in pristine condition. But this is kind of like the model we went for. I, you guys know I always have vents in all of my hoods. Kind of want to spice it up, change it up a little bit. For the FRS, we're going for more of a single vent, more of a 240 style. This is like almost like the same style I have on my 240, but I think this is gonna look a lot better. And I don't know, before we start wrapping the whole car, let me know what do you guys think. I kind of want to wrap the whole car, I mean the whole hood, um, and then just leave the middle part exposed. I've never done anything like that before. I always like leave the carbon exposed, but I think that would look kind of cool, like a, like a dual color. But now the next challenge is fitting this hood inside of the tiny little Honda. We were able to do it yesterday. Let's see if we can do it again. Mission success, guys. Good thing we tested it out yesterday. The hood does fit inside this big old Civic. Shout out to Shirley for allowing us to use her dailies to pick up hoods and different kind of parts. Let's go, bro. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go. Man, let's go. This car's about to look sick. I want to see how this hood looks on the car so bad. We are wasting no time. We are getting straight to it.
and there you guys go first look with the new carbon hood on and i think that looks bad ass if you ask me dude this this looks sick it's the first time like i said i don't have a super vented hood normally all of my cars have hella vents even the fd has two big ass vents and even the 241 has a bunch of vents but this is the first time that we have a, a more like subtle vented look and i think this looks so badass i really do think if we wrap this whole thing uh the 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 the, the roof is red and then leave the middle part carbon it's gonna look super sick but i don't know what do you guys think i think this looks super badass though i didn't want anything super crazy super out there and I feel like I don't see a lot of FRSs running this hood. At least I, I, I don't here in SoCal. Maybe I just haven't gone to enough shows, but I don't see a lot of cars running this hood. So that's why I went with this one. And I think it looks badass. Number one, number two, guys, the fitment of Saibon is like damn near perfect. Anything that I ever buy that Saibon is so perfect. Literally, all of the, the Z stuff has been perfect. All of the FD stuff that I bought from Saibon was perfect. And now this FRS hood is literally perfect. Oh, dude, this looks so badass. But you know, what do you guys think? Comment down below. I also wanted to give you an update on part costs. I think this is something that's really important and a lot of you guys want to see. This is the reality of what we spent on the FRS so far. Now, remember guys, when we first started the FRS Amazon build series, I wanted to keep the budget under 6,000 for Amazon and we hit that out of the park. So all in all, including the Kenda tires, wing, rotors, everything all together from Amazon. Came out to a grand total of 4454, which honestly isn't bad. 4454 for all of this is not bad, honestly. Now, there are a couple of things on here that we didn't get from Amazon. The wheels obviously came from Fitment Industries, and the wheels came out to 2k total. The hood obviously came from Saibon, came out to 1100 dollars uh, total, and then the wrap was from Vinyl Frog, and that's 600 dollars now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the hood and the wrap we did get on a sponsorship. Um, so I'm not gonna tell you what I ended up paying for the hood, but it came out to a lot less than this. And then the wrap was on a sponsorship as well. So Vinyl Frog actually sent that over for free. So we're not counting this all the way, but this is just a rough estimate of what you guys would be looking at spending to have your car basically look exactly how mine looks right now that's what you guys would be spending so roughly around 7k so roughly around eight thousand dollars with these two together is what you would look at to be spending to have the car look 100 percent like mine obviously haven't even started wrapping it yet we are going to wrap it and we still are missing a couple of things from the car so we're missing these little turn signals right here, which I am going to end up buying. But they're $35 from Amazon, so that's not going to be a big spend. And then I am going to end up getting some garnishes, probably a like carbon fiber one. I've been looking on Amazon, but I just haven't found any that I actually like. I don't like the big, like, shark fin one. I want something a little bit more low-key for this. So, um, yeah, so we are going to end up buying those two pieces. But, I mean, all in all, probably tack on, like, another 120 bucks on that. So, you'll be looking at, like, $4,500 spent altogether on the Amazon build. And that, honestly, is freaking good I, i'm i'm honestly surprised 4500 dollars from amazon gets you this and that's <laughs> that's not bad that's surprisingly really really good and really really affordable but let me know what do you guys think is it actually worth it 4500 dollars to get your car looking like this or not if you ask me i think this is good and honestly the fitment the way everything is sitting on the car this is something you could daily every day and not worry about destroying your car gas mileage or anything like that this is like perfect daily like stance fitment and this looks so I, I i keep staring at the hood the hood looks so beautiful guys i i keep staring at that hood and i don't know man i'm really blessed to be able to have the opportunity to build these cars so oh shit i'm really blessed to have the opportunity to build these cars so i just want to say thank you to everyone that supports honestly sometimes i feel like this is like you know make believe obviously i'm not a tj hunt not a randy and i feel like there's still other guys that um other guys and girls that have uh, you know more followers than me but from the bottom of my heart i appreciate you guys so much i don't care if i get five like views on a vlog or five million views like i i enjoy this i enjoy building cars and that's honestly why i do it but i appreciate you guys for just riding with me and supporting if you guys haven't welcome to the channel make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because we're going to be building all kinds of really cool things on this channel